Welcome, welcome, welcome to the podcast. It's Mr. Ish. We're here at Kips Bay Boys and Girls Club, Kodea Clubhouse, season number seven. And uh, every time I have these young ladies here, it, it seems to be a, a good time. We have a, a lot to talk about. They're eager to do podcasting, and um, I'm eager to teach them. So I want to welcome them. Please give us your name and your age, okay. and we'll start the podcast. Okay. Hi, my name is Diamond, and I'm nine years old. Diamond, she's nine years old. Next. Uh, hi, my name is Mia, and I'm nine. All right, Mia. Hi, my name is Raina, and I'm nine. Raina looks like she's 12. <laughs> she's actually nine. <laughs> yeah, What's up, girl? A long time no see. I don't remember the last time we did a podcast. Yeah, we did before. I know we did, but I don't remember when. Oh. You know, <laughs> with, with all these clubs and stuff that's going on now. Yeah. Um. So welcome to Podcasting Again, season number seven. Um, all you guys are veteran to this. It's not you're not new to this. I love podcasts. No, oh, thank you. Um, what's today's topic? What are we going to talk about? Family culture. Family culture. Family culture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you guys have different traditions that you do? Or different cultures? All right, let's let's just go around the table and let's let's mention our different cultures. Let's start there. Diamond, uh, what's your background? What's your family's background? So um, every year, um, we we would like. Go somewhere for Thanksgiving. We were, we, last year we had went to Pennsylvania. The year before that we went to a um, lake in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, you fancy! Um, so you don't spend Thanksgiving at home. You you actually uh, use it as a travel time and and spend time with your family somewhere else. No, I have very far family. My family kind of just, like lives everywhere. Okay, so, so we you travel oh, so you go see family members. Yeah, we travel oh. everywhere, and it's really interesting. And we had we had we had went to a lake house one time, and it was really fun. We went canoeing when I was halfway asleep. <laughs> that was fun. I thought I was gonna tip over and drown. <laughs> well, at least you you have fun because Thanksgiving is usually the best time to travel. I'm gonna mm-hmm. let you know why, because yeah. there's always good food no matter where you go. Yep, like amazing. it's not like it's not like oh I'm gonna go somewhere and then there's not gonna be good food. Thanksgiving is always good food, so yeah, that's and, that gets that out the way. Especially the turkey. Oh, yeah, so um, that's nice. That's that's a nice tradition that you guys have. How long you been doing this? As as long as you, I guess, been living. Since I was four. Four years old. Okay, so we're going on a good five year tra- uh, tradition. What about you? What, yeah. Um. What's something well, your family we, does? We, my family, we we on in Christmas we 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 go to my grandma's house and celebrate um Christmas and then after we drive um to my grandpa's house and we celebrate it and we eat we we ate and then we prayed before we eat because okay. we always have to pray. That's true. Some that's and, a good tradition. Some people carry that on. And um, not mad at that. We open our presents uh. later, and then uh, we we started going around um, putting the presents to the names of the presents. Uh-huh. We put it where um, his, um, the people's names. Okay, so you start putting name tags on the presents and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, it's a good tradition. You go see grandma and grandpa. You go traveling. Get your prayers in. Get your food in. That's a that's a nice a nice thing to do. Um, what do you have? What's your good tradition that you guys um, do? A good tradition that we've been doing for a while now is we um, all go to New Jersey because I have a lot of family there. And we all have a sleepover there. Nice. And we eat a lot. And you have like and, all your cousins and stuff like that yeah. over there? Oh, that's a nice one. And we all do like a I mini like, sec- oh. we sometimes oh, do Secret Santa. Santa. Okay. So do, this is a holiday open. tradition that you do. Yeah. Okay. That's a nice one. Um, do you guys have a, any tradition that's not holiday related? That's not revolving around the holiday? Because holidays is, is good. I mean, it's always nice to to meet family and, 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 you know, hang out together on the holidays. But sometimes you can have a tradition that has nothing to do with the holidays. Um, do you have anything, Diamond? Um, yes, because um, every time we will go to our um, to my aunt's house in Brooklyn or in um, Connecticut, and she would have these delicious um, dough breads. Oh, don't talk about food right now. I'm hungry. <laughs> so she'll have some. She'll have some good bread. Uh huh. She would have like a secret recipe, and we would share with our neighbors. And whenever they would ask where we had made, th- like what we had made them with, we would tell them it's a secret. 
do. You don't you don't want to give a, a family secret. So that's a good thing. Do you have anything that's not uh, holiday related or tradition that you do? Oh my um so my we my family um we go to restaurants on my birthday on September twenty seventh. Uh, we 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 sing happy birthday to me and I went to Starbucks. You went to Starbucks? Yeah. Okay. One of my aunties, a friend, took a you? boy, um, took me to Starbucks. Okay. I'm trying to get you addicted to coffee real real early. <laughs> yeah. what, what tradition do you have that's not uh, holiday um, related? It's it's kind of like a holiday, but one thing I do in my family with my mom, every birthday I go traveling. Oh, I wish I could do that. So it's mm. really fun. So where have you traveled so far for your birthday? I've traveled to Las Vegas. I've nice. traveled to Mexico. Oh, my God. I've traveled to Miami. Oh, I want to go to Miami. I've Me traveled too. to DR. Oh, I've been to DR. And a lot of Okay, so you, so you got a travel bug. That's a nice one. I wish I could just travel on my birthday. You know what I do on, on my birthday? When? I come when? right here to work. Oh, and what? I've also been to Orlando. Yeah. You spend I come time to work. with your family? I spend time with you guys. Don't I mean, at the end of the day, I do. I mean, I, when oh. I go home, you know, they usually have a nice little cake for me or they, huh. they make me dinner or something. Yeah, but my, since my birthday's in the summertime and I work for the mom, summer. My mom's yeah. birthday oh, yeah. is April 20, 24. And we usually end the night time at 12. We sing happy birthday. And then we eat cake. All right. I used to have a good tradition. I mean, I have one that I do with my girls. We do the apple picking and pumpkin um, picking every year. Oh yeah. And um, we always take pictures by the same tree. So you could see, like, my, my daughters, you know, when they were babies all the way to, let's say now, they're nine years old, the oldest one. And you get to see her at, at all ages, you know, just picking a, a Picking a apple on the same tree, and we take pictures of the pumpkins and all that stuff. Like so that's a nice tradition there's that we do. Rides, like, yeah, there's rides and hay rides like and all that stuff. How much they like age? Yeah, you get to see how much they age, and they take pictures in the big chair, and you do know, you guys and, ate and we do there? oh the donuts. The donuts, the donuts are good. Donuts. The donuts are so good. The donuts are the yeah. best. And then uh, we used to have when we, ha you know, during the pandemic we stopped doing it, but we used to go to um, Myrtle Beach. Uh, South Carolina. Oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah. Um, and it was a big. It was a lot of us. It was probably about 15, 15, 15 or twenty of us. So we rent like a whole floor on a hotel, and all of us went. Grandmas, grandpas, uncles, Wait, you know, cousins. They went in different um, rooms. Yeah, we had different rooms, but I'm saying there was a lot of us, so we rented like almost a whole floor, mm -hmm. and um, and it was pretty cool. You know, we barbecued outside. We we did fireworks on the beach. Uh, the, we we oh, did the, the pool. We did the mini golf. We went out to like big dinners and stuff like that. Um, it was, it was the was the pool big or small? No, it was big. It had a lazy mm -hmm. pool and everything. It was pretty. Whoa, it was pretty so nice. Fun. Um, uh, and then we always, you know, like the holidays, we get together. Um, we we just had like our, our we call him our dad, uh, Stanley. He he just passed away, but he used to be he used to be the one that used to cook for everything. He cooked for Thanksgiving, he cooked for Easter, he cooked for Christmas, he cooked for Thanksgiving. He, did, he always cooked. So, um, you know, we're going through, we, we, we got to figure out who's, um, who's going to be our cook for the holidays. Um, and then, you know, do you have any, any traditions that you do, like, for, um, like, my culture is Spanish. So, like, we do, um, we do, like, you know, parades and stuff like that. But my wife's culture is Polish. So they go places and they go dancing and, and stuff like that. So I try to teach my girls a little bit about both. Does your family do something like that for you? Um, yeah. So, 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 so what's something that you do? I think sometimes we would like, sometimes um, the adults, um, they would be out and they would like rent the whole floor and to do like like traditional dances since I'm Panamanian. Okay. And I think they would do like traditional dances or just like go out. Mm -hmm. While like our, one of our older cousins, they would watch us. We would have like a game night for the kids. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that, you know, you keep up the, the traditions from your culture. Um, is How there anything else? What you have? What you do? Um, Culturally, like, like, is there something that you, you're Spanish? What are you? I'm Spanish and English. Okay, you Dominican or Puerto Rican? I'm Dominican. Okay, D, I'll make some noise. Do I have one of those? You see, I'm this one right here. Rico. That's my 
Oh, that's me. That's me. I have saving that one. I'm saving that one for another time. Um, okay. Um, so we do the Puerto Rican Day Parade. That's a big thing in, in my family. So my my mom goes to Spanish concerts with my dad as a Ooh. date. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, girlfriend. They, they they buy tickets like when they go on dates. Um, they um, go see Mark Anthony and then they say Bad Bunny. Ooh, Bad Bunny they makes Bad Yankee. Bunny. All right. So they into the reggaeton and all, and all that. Oh, that's crazy. That's nice. Bad Bunny was just in Yankee Stadium, broke the records. Yeah. Um, that's pretty cool. A uh, little date night. I like that. What about you? Is there something that, um, that mom the mom does? Um, We don't really, like, do anything like that. But we all do gather up to, like, my grandma's house for, like, traditional stuff. And, like, for holidays. And What's do. a good traditional food that you got? What's a good traditional yeah, yeah, yeah. food? Yeah, something that they put on that plate and you know it's, it's right. Um, like, I used to go to my friend's house and he, he his family always did, like, oxtails and stuff like that. Um, oh, that was good because we don't cook that. And then in my family, my mother-in-law, she cooks uh, kabasi and priogis. That's Polish. Um, my mom cooks penil, rice and beans. Um, what they cook in your house besides that good bread? Is there, is there another another tradition and like you know another type of meat or stew or something? So um, they will always make this type of stew that was like like stew that mm-hmm. was kind of like that kind of had like everything. It had carrots, like um, carrots. In Puerto Rico, potatoes. we call that like a mofongo. It has a little bit of everything. Similar to that. Potatoes. It has it has all types of you know roots and. And they will make like a um half cooked like dough bread. While oh, you with that dough bread. <laughs> and then they stuffed um like some food inside. Mm-hmm. And then baked it. All right, I'm going to your house. I know where I know where the <laughs> yeah. food is at. Next time I see your mom, I'll be like, yo, some of that little dough bread. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna ask your mom. I'm not even ashamed of it. Yeah, what, what do you have? My grandma, um, right now, she always cooks me and, and my brother. She always cooks us rice with beans, chicken. Um, she chicken. made patelitos for you? Si. Oh, make patelitos. Um, Everybody like patelitos. My mom always um do chicken nuggets with fries and the same thing as my grandma. Yeah, chicken, I mean, chicken nuggets and fries, that's not a traditional holiday or, or, or fancy meal. I'm talking about like something like pateles. Uh, big ziti, a lasagna, my, my you know, some, uh, what's, what's something, something, uh, let me see what else you can have, uh, like a, like a fried turkey, you ever have fried turkey? Oh yeah, I did Fried it. turkey I is so I good. Yeah, I couldn't stop fried eating Fried turkey it. is really, you know what I had one time? I had them, um, uh, crocodile. Cro- crocodile. Boy, yeah, you eat crocodile. crocodile? Yeah, it was good. My mom, she really enjoys, like, um, stuffing. Me, stuffing is good. Me, personally, I really don't like stuffing. I think it has too much stuff in it for me. It's called cool stuffing. <laughs> <laughs> I, li- I like it, but you know what? I like it when it's fresh. Like, let's say we're having Thanksgiving dinner right like now. fresh out the oven? Yeah, fresh out the oven. I don't want it the next day because it gets too hard. It gets too... No, I want it, like, right with the turkey gravy and the juice is still good. I don't want to eat it, you know, an, a, two hours later. I, like, I don't want to do Like, that. the next day? No, I don't want to do that. I, I don't. I don't like I want it. that oven heat. Yeah, I want. I want a nice and room, room temperature. Y'all guys got me hungry. I don't know what to do right now because my stomach is about to start growling, and you're gonna hear it. And this podcast is gonna have to go somewhere else with it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a five minute break from my podcast to get something to eat. No. Yeah. No. My belly is hurting. I'm Your belly's hurting already. Yeah. Daddy gave me I'm something hungry. to eat too. Yeah. My grandma makes really good patelitos, but mm. one thing that me and my mom. Well, I've done it with my mom before. We made brownies, but we put cookie dough. Oh, yeah, I do. But we put cookie dough inside of it, and it was really good. Okay. I ate brownies before. All right. It well, tastes so good. I'm going to let you know right now. Mouth is watery, and I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you, girls, for uh, participating. Uh, like always, we always do a good podcast. Uh, you can say your goodbyes. Bye, Ninja. Bye. 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 Love you. Bye, sisters. Check, 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 one, two, one, two, check, 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 check. And we're out.